It took 30 minutes for the Stags to post their first try against Counties Monaco, but the score was just 5-3 at half time. It was a different story in the second spell. Long looping pass. Is there room on the outside? They don't need it. Tackles are coming in, but Carwell will pick the ball across the try line. He throws away the pass that will throw away the game. Tifari was waiting in the wings. An emphatic message, an emphatic try. A consolation try for counties, but it's still anchored to the bottom of the table with one win. But both sides pride themselves on playing 15-man rugby. The evidence in Bay of Plenty's reply soon after. Forward muscle setting up the backs. Blind side over the top. It goes. Beautifully works. Lawrence scores the try for the Bay. In a seesawing first half, Wellington's lineout began to assert its dominance. The Lions' firepower too much. So Wellington spin it wide through Ellison. Straight out to Gear. Gear's on the outside. In other action last night, Hawks Bay did a four-year hoodoo against Otago by downing the home side 19-10. While Taranaki secured a bonus point in their 39-21 win over Northland. Welsh centre Jonathan Spratt capping a big win for the home side, scoring the third of his tries in the dying stages of the game. Positions perfect for running rugby, Canterbury making the most of them. And there'll be a try, first try, James Patterson. The left winger finding more acres of space soon after. Patterson, Patterson could go all the way. I don't think they're going to pull him back. They won't. It's a Sunday stroll and Patterson has a brace inside the first 21 minutes. Scott Hamilton toying with the Tasman defence. Simple, ruthless. And he may well set up another try here and he does. But Tasman weren't going to lie down. Beautiful pass. Ego, Ego running for the line. He's in. That's a beauty. Tasman feeding off scraps. Tasman should score. Surely they will. Yes. This game has been broken open wide. Canterbury replying soon after to take a 10-point lead into the break. Numbers for Canterbury again. They will score this time. Whitelock. Wave after wave of second half red and black attack. Too much. It was inevitable. The Cantabs having the final say in a commanding win. I have a feeling that Ryan Crotty might have got there. In Hamilton last night, the Mulu men finally got their campaign off the ground, hammering an Auckland side bolstered by three current All Blacks in their path. A few minutes out, but he scores bonus point! While Manawatu let an elusive win over North Harbour slip away in the final minutes.